So today I'm going to show you how to turn your boring image that looks like this into something like this. And I only used one light. What? So the main light that we'll be using in today's tutorial is the Golden Eagle V100, which is actually a bi-colored 100 watt LED panel light. I'll leave a link up here to my full review of it if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about it. The benefit of this kind of light is that bicolored part in the name, which basically means you can adjust the color temperature to make it either a cool or a warm light. Now, typically most LED lights these days are set to around that 5600K color temperature, which is like the most commonly seen natural color temperature that we get from our sun. 5600 Kelvin is roughly the color of the light that the sun produces during the main portion of a day. But if you're an early riser like me, you know that when the sun rises and when the sun sets, and if there isn't any cloud in the horizon to block it, the color of the light it produces is much, much warmer. This is because the light is passing through much, much more of our atmosphere on the way to hitting our eyes, so it allows that blue and violet light to be absorbed to produce that real nice warm glow. But anyway, the main reason I'm using that as an example is to show you what warm color temperature and what cool color temperature is. So sunrise or sunset is typically a warm color, whereas daytime light is typically cool. But now, how does that allow us to get the the second image that we saw at the start of this video. Well, typically when shooting a video, we'll match the white balance of our camera to the white balance of our light sources. So if we're using a 5600 Kelvin LED light, we would set our white balance on a camera to also be 5600K as well. This gives us naturally looking skin tones as well as making the actual image itself look normal. But if we were to change the color temperature of our light down to 3200 Kelvin, which we know is a warmer color, it initially will make our image look very warm and unnatural, or it might make it look like we're shooting at gold now. But now this is where it gets really, really cool. So if we change the white balance on our camera to also be 3200 Kelvin to match our light source, then it will make our skin tones look normal. But what happens is the background cools right down and it makes this real like teal orange contrasty look. This is because as you decrease the white balance, you are actually cooling down the image to counteract for the warm light source. And what we're left with is this crazy colored image without actually having to add any colored lights to our scene at all. Such a massive difference from the first image without any light or even the shot of me just using this one light but having it set to 5600 Kelvin and then also my camera set to 5600K as well. Now keep in mind for this to work, you do have to have your subject under that warm 3200 Kelvin light source at all times because as soon as they step out of it, they're gonna turn cool like the background. So if you were to light a scene like this, you will need multiple lights set to 3200 Kelvin to make sure that our subject stays in that warm light source so they don't turn blue like the background. If you did enjoy this one, then consider liking and subscribing. And if you use this technique, then be sure to tag me on Instagram at Andrew Murphy WA. And as always guys, stay creative and just be you. See ya.